Greg Ovens here. This is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. I want to start this video by saying, you know, I am so sorry for all of you that have been affected by the coronavirus. It's a terrible thing that we're all dealing with. It's affecting economies and people around the world. Terrible. But in this video, hopefully you find the creek soothing. I'm just going to cook a turkey because, like everyone else, I'm trying to practice distancing and stay away from people as much as possible. But this is where I live, out in the bush. So I'm going to treat myself to a turkey dinner and that'll be this video. But like I say, let's uh, all be strong and I am so sorry once again. You know, I can't even explain how sorry I am for those of you that have been affected directly by this terrible virus. All I can do is hope that you enjoy the video, get some water, and I'm going to cook my turkey. So, what I'm going to do is uh, make a pit here. I'm going to cook the turkey in the pit. This is Easter long weekend. I'm here by myself, no family, no friends. But I'm isolated out here in the bush. That's as, about as isolated as you can be. No family, no friends out here, just me. Me and this turkey. That's it. But, I'm going to dig a pit behind me here. And I've got lots of uh, firewood, everything I need. I'm going to have stuffing, everything that works. Potatoes, carrots, roast them in the pot with the turkey. I think it's going to be a good dinner. Be nice to have someone to share it with, but I'm sharing it with you, at least on video. So you know what they say, it's hard to soar with eagles when you work with turkeys. Guess again, turkey.
So, you noticed I built a fire over top of the rocks that were covering the pot. So now it's time to take the rocks off, check our turkey. What I'm hoping is that we slow cooked it. There are gaps in the rocks around that I covered the pot with. So some of the coals would have fallen down on top of the lid and around the pot itself. And I did have some coal in the bottom to begin with, as you remember. So the coals falling through the rocks, instead of, I didn't want all the coals in there, or it would have cooked uh, too fast, and it would have burnt it, probably. So the rocks should have protected it enough. Little bits will go through there of coal, and hopefully it's uh, slow cooked. Well, we'll check it out. We're going to take the rocks off and check our turkey. They're warm, the rocks, but they're not super hot. But that, I'm assuming, would have worked out just fine. Rocks hold their heat for a long time. Leave your comments below, you think it's overcooked or just right? Oh yeah, look at that. It looks good to me. We're gonna have to cut it open and see. I'll get it out of here, the wind's coming up a bit and I don't want ash blowing all in it. Let's get it out of here. We'll test her out. potato mm. they're done carrot that it's all done mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. turkey dinner in isolation turkey's done so you can see it's cooked so I can have my turkey dinner <clears throat> while you guys are at home having your turkey dinner I won't be able to eat all of this I'll probably end up making soup at the end it's good You're lucky I held back, turkey. So everything is cooked. I gotta check the dressing. I don't know what it's like. Hmm. That's pretty good too. I just uh, dumped in the whole bag as you saw. Didn't go by the instructions. I mean, you're supposed to do it at the end on a stove. I threw it in there, but the juice from the turkey itself did the job. Nothing wrong with that. Full course meal. That's about the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep watching, Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. I might get out today and start another video. And try to stay safe, all you folks. Before we go, do you got something to say to the principal? Yeah, turkey! <laughs>